Hey there friends, it is me, Mike Harmoner, HL Mod Tech, and I'm here with a video about Tinkercad.com. If this is your first ever lesson, it is totally possible for you to be awesome right from the get-go. Start with sign in, and then what I always recommend is use sign in using social providers. Simply hit your Google account, and bam, you're in. If yours launches to a tutorial, please just click the little Tinkercad button and do create new design so we can get cracking. Today we are going to make an awesome little house and we're going to start with the box. Drag the box out and then click on the little corners so you can see it from every side. Note you can click in the middle of the word top and front and look at it from an angle. You can also click on the ends to get a cool angle. From one of those ends we want to click on the white box and I want you to type the number 60. Press enter for how long that side is and I want you to type the number 40 and press enter for how this long this is. Let's look at it from that front edge or exactly from the front and find the height button and I would like you to make that size 30. Let's go back to one of those corner views and look at what we've built. It's the start of a house but we're going to make our house even more awesome by giving it walls. Let's use a command called duplicate. You can see it also has control D and then grab and move the second one away. Change it to what's called a hole that's how we are going to cut things out in just a minute. And then click on the hole once, click on its corners, and we need to change these measurements. Instead of 40, I want you to put 36. Instead of 60, I want you to type 56 and press enter. And then for the height, we're going to make it 34, just so that it pokes out. We select things by dragging out in space and touching both objects. Notice now it says two shapes selected. Let's go to that top corner view and choose the awesome align tool. It lets us use these three dots to choose left, middle, or right. We want ours to be in the middle of each other. And then on this side, it has left, middle, and right. We want them to be in the middle of each other. So now you can see that we are going to have walls when this groups. We also want to make sure they're lined up on the bottom. So that's why we have that button checked. At this point, move up to the group. Still says shapes connected to. Once we hit group, it becomes one shape. And if you look at it from the top, boom, we've got walls. That's how easy it is to make the walls for a cute little house. I want to add a door. And this time I'm going to use what's called the box hole. When you bring the box out, we're going to click on it once and use the amazing fit view. So we zoom right to where it is. I'm going to take the align tool and shut it off by just clicking the workspace. And I'm going to click this shape's corners and see how this says 20. I want you to use the black handle and squish it down until it says 10. So our door is going to be 10 wide. We could have simply typed 10, but I wanted to show you how we could adjust it as well. For the height of the door, I want you to put 15 and I want you to press enter. Let's look at our building from the front and an angle. And let's zoom back out to the home view. We're going to use a new trick called nudge with the arrow keys. I just want you to nudge your door until it pokes through the wall. And then you pick where you want it. You can just line it up with the arrow keys or you can grab all the parts and use a line again. I'm flexible about where you put your door. When you're happy about where it's going to be, double check the top to make sure that it pokes through. If it does, grab everything and choose group so that it aligns. And then when you look at the front, it is now one piece and you've got a door that people could walk in. And you can look at it from all your angles. You can also right click the mouse and drag and look at it at all angles as well. Before we go any further, let's name our project. I'm going to put house and I'm going to put my initials MDH and I've made many, many of these. So I'm going to call mine MDH eight. All right, here comes another amazing trick. Let's do a window in no time. Bring out the whole box, switch your snap grid to five millimeters, hold down shift and drag the white handle down until it says 10 by 10. Now, because we did this five millimeter snap, it went in two easy snaps. And then with the arrow keys, you can just move it to where you want. And then here's an amazing one. 
if you hold down control and tap the up arrow, it goes up your wall just the way you want it. With that window in place, I am going to switch to the front view, and that's important so it lines up your arrow keys. I'm gonna do Control D to duplicate, and look at this. Just clicking the right arrow, it snaps across my house, and I can line it up super quick, and then I can grab everything and group it, and bam, I've got two adorable windows on my house. You can use that skill to add as many as you want, but right now I want to finish up our lesson with how to add a roof. We're going to use an amazing tool called Work Plane, and I need you to move on top of the wall so that it's flat. When you do that, the roof that you bring out, and there are many things you can pick for a roof, it lands right on top of your project. You can use the arrow keys to move it into position, but it may be easier to switch to the one millimeter mode when you do so. Even better yet, you can just grab and stretch. Remember, we know that the numbers are 60, and let's press enter, and we know that the number is 40, and let's press enter. Let's take the work plane and shut it off by clicking the button and clicking the blue line. And then when we grab everything, you can use that amazing align tool to go pop. And let's look at it from this side. There's that other center button, pop. Your house is now amazing. You can pick your own awesome colors. You can do anything you want. If you click each piece separate, uh, they can each have their own colors. Just like that, you have made and customized your own awesome little house. There are tons of places for you to explore. You can add crazy things like chimneys. You can make furniture. If you go into the characters, there's a little dude that you could bring in. I mean, you can have a person in your house. I'm going to hold shift and shrink my little dude so that he actually fits. Remember that holding shift changes it in every direction it wants. I'm going to zoom at him, and I'm going to use the arrow keys to put him inside so it looks like he's waving out my building. And let's make him a groovy yellow. Click that front view so we can see what he's looking like. That's pretty awesome. So my friends, I hope you had a lot of fun with this. It saves to the cloud, so you do not need to do any more saves. And you can just pat yourself on the back for being awesome. Hey there, friends. If you found this useful, please hit that like button. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.